Are you looking for a way to set up your Facebook alerts through Streamlabs OBS? Then this video is going to be for you, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm Dale and this is Live Streaming Tech and if you would like to learn how to live stream like a pro, make sure that you subscribe and hit that little bell notification so that way you don't miss a single one of our videos. I'd love to know if you are currently using Streamlabs OBS, do you stream over to Facebook and are there other platforms that you enjoy to stream to as well? Leave your comments down below. So you've set up Streamlabs OBS with no issue whatsoever, but now you're wanting to find some way to recognize the viewers that are coming in to your live streams. And one of the ways we can recognize our viewers is through the Facebook alerts. But how do we get it all set up in Streamlabs OBS? Believe it or not, this video is going to be super short because Walt's going to get right to the point. Take it away, bro. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to open up your Streamlabs OBS. You're going to want to log into your Facebook. I'm already logged in. Then go to your dashboard. And this is uh, how quick and easy it is to set up your Facebook alerts. So we're going to click on widgets. And then the alert box. As you can see, alert box. Click that. All right, now as you scroll down here, you will find your test buttons and the actual buttons where you can change the look of each alert. So for instance, this is my follow one. I've changed it. I put a link into a GIF that I liked and I actually uploaded a sound effect as well. Um, but you can use their, uh, their own sound effects if you wish. And they also have their own images. So if you're wanting to just make it quick and easy, you can always do that and then later on go back and customize it further on. I recommend customizing it though. It brings a little bit more attention to your stream and it shows your viewers that you really have put time and effort into your stream. So therefore they're more likely going to follow you, like you, and share you when it comes to Facebook Live. Okay, so now we're gonna try to test it and we were too slow. So we'll go back, not a problem. There's also a button down here where you can test it, but it only tests donations. So we'll wanna test the follow one though. So we're gonna go back into the dashboard. And the other thing you can do too, is you can always extend the time that your alert goes off. So you're not bouncing over really quick. So let's go ahead and test the follow. Then we're gonna click back over to editor. And there we go, we can see our follow alert. Like I said, you can extend the time that it's on the screen until you position it and you get it where you want and then go back and adjust the time, uh, shorten it. And that cop car is super loud. <laughs> I do need to uh, uh, adjust the main volume down. Uh, you can also adjust the volumes on the alerts themselves. So if you want to alert a little bit louder uh, and maybe your follow one not as loud, but your likes and shares, you maybe want them to pop. And uh, here's my stars. Not that I uh, can get stars yet on Facebook Live. Then again, I've kind of neglected my Facebook page. So now, uh, because I can't hit stars, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn off supports, we're gonna turn off stars, and we're gonna turn off merch. So now I'm gonna leave my likes, donations, and follows on. Those are the ones I feel that are important. Obviously, it's gonna depend on oh, the way you wanna live stream on Facebook, uh, to what you turn on and turn off and what you customize or don't customize. But that's just what I'm gonna roll with. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test that donation button. There we go. That's what it looks like when you haven't uh, tweaked it or customized it. That's pretty much plain Jane. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and check out this one over here where I talk about... Uh, what do I talk about? <laughs> where I show you how to uh, do this in using OBS Studio. It's a lot quicker, a lot easier, and definitely go give it a look. Thanks.